Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. Let's give it another rip here and see. Yeah, it's raining. Holy crap. What's going on, guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome. And we got the Kyosho Mercedes AMG GT3 110 scale. We are taking pre-orders on this car if you do want to get one. We got only a few of them left as of right now. But anyway, I get wet running this vehicle with the brushless system in it. So in case you think this is the car that comes stock, it isn't. It is a brushless system, so I've added different electronics to it to make it faster. But anyway, really cool car, man. I definitely like it. Hope you guys do too. But for now, Check out that video. Anyway, we're gonna do a speed run. This thing's on 3S power. I'll go ahead and show you guys the interior of this thing, but we're gonna go ahead and first give it a rip. It's got a 4,400 kV motor in it. 3S LiPo, 5,000 milliamp, 50C discharge Venom battery. Yeah, it's got an 80 amp electronic speed controller in it. All right, so we're ready to run. Test run here. lift all right so so far not even full power 44 miles an hour and I think it's gonna lift on me yeah we'll see hopefully this thing doesn't blow up flip over Let's go. and I'm going against the wind dang it all right we're gonna give this a test run here going with the wind so we'll see how this goes and turn this thing around where it rains it's pretty breezy out and dual rate we're down Whew, man that thing rips oh it rips. she's moving i'm gonna say that was probably like 60 something yep there you go 60 miles an hour exactly so 60 miles an hour. Let's give it another rip here and see. Yeah, it's raining. Holy crap. I'm gonna get drenched. Yeah, I got drenched on that one. That was pretty good. Anyway, did 60 miles an hour. Not bad. Didn't get time to actually give it another run here, but I tried. And uh, she's soaked now, so. Okay, so uh, I did rip it through the water a little bit. Obviously, it's not all completely waterproof. Probably that it does still steer. I don't know. It it does still when it when you do turn it on, it go ahead. It does kind of initialize the motor, so that does kind of pulse a little bit. So it might just need to be, you know, dried a little bit. But anyway. All right. So after using an electric leaf blower, seems like she's back and running again here. So got steering. So we're good, man. Happy end. All right, guys. First off, big shout out to Kyosho, our rep, Efren, for being able to send this to us. We were only one of two to get this car ahead of time to show you guys this awesome beast. Now, speaking of awesome beast, now that we put a brushless system in here, this thing woke up. <laughs> as far as 60 miles an hour, not bad at all. 4,400 kV motor, 80 amp electronic speed controller, 33 tooth pinion over the stock 32. Aluminum drive shaft that we installed in our previous video it only took like five minutes. It's like six screws, you take them off, plop the new one in there, and you're good to go. And then we are running our Venom pack. It's a 50C discharge, 5,000 milliamp, 3S LiPo. Um, I'm gonna run this past you guys too. Maybe it's something you're interested in because I've had some people say, hey, is this gonna come out with a brushless system? And I'm gonna say, no. Uh, and it's a good thing it doesn't because it's gonna make the cost more expensive for the car and the electronics that they used to put in from like Kyosho. They used like a team of Ryan and it wasn't really, it wasn't really powerful. So I think if they just leave it out, it keeps the cost down like it is now, 
then you can put your own electronics in there. But we're gonna, maybe we offer some kind of performance upgrade. Instead of AMG, we do OMG, you know, up, performance upgrade to it. So maybe some of you guys are like not really 100% sure putting your aftermarket electronics into the car to make it faster, but you want something just out of the box more or less to be faster. So we already have the platform to do it. So if it's something that you might be interested in, hit us up, leave a comment down below and say, hey man, I would like to, you know, how much would that be more on top of this, the 229 that it is now? And uh, as of right now, speaking of 229, we still are taking pre-orders on this car. So if you are interested in it, jump on it. We only got a few of them left at the time of this video. And then eventually they'll come back into stock again. But just kind of letting you guys know. And uh, But going back to the performance upgrade, the OMG, you guys let me know in regards to that one. Like, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. You know, we would already have the car here. We do the upgrades to it. And then obviously there'd be a little bit that uh, price increase for that upgrade to it. But you already have something that's already fast, right? So like 25, 26, 27 miles an hour, the car would come as running on a LiPo. Now you'd have something that goes like 60 plus miles an hour. Once all tested, we could test it here, make sure that we can achieve a certain speed. And then we just pass it and say, hey man, you just put in this battery, and you're gonna be able to do this speed, man. So you'd be real happy with it. So yeah, leave a comment below. Let me know, it's just an idea as of right now, but maybe we can uh, work something out. But appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this with your friends. This thing is sick. And I'll catch you real soon on the next video. You guys take care, peace.